Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to check for multicollinearity in R. Now we need to check for multicollinearity in, um, when we are performing multiple linear regression. And multicollinearity is if we have say two or more variables which are significantly correlated only include one of them in the regression model so we don't want high correlations between uh, independent variables when we are conducting multiple linear regression if, if there are we should remove one of the two the data that I'm going to use here is taken from the uh, Datarium uh, package um, so if you haven't installed this already use the install function in the um, packages tab uh, to click on install and type in datarium in here and it will install for our studio will install it for you now i have it installed already so no need for me to complete that step so i'm going to run the library uh, function here with the datarium to load it into my um, library and i'm going to use the head function just to look at the first six lines so what we see here this is a data frame containing the impact of three different advertising media youtube facebook and newspaper on sales so youtube facebook and newspaper are our independent variables and sales is the dependent variable so we'd like to use uh, there are 200 records in this data set so we'd like to use these data to build a model to predict sales based on advertising spend in dollars on youtube facebook and newspaper so um, that we can predict the sales value so this is all a type of machine learning all about making predictions uh, using multiple linear regression However, if um, YouTube was um, very highly correlated with Facebook or YouTube was highly correlated with newspaper or indeed Facebook highly correlated with newspaper, we should not include uh, at both variables when there's high correlations. So therefore we would need to remove one from the model, otherwise the model will prove very, very weak as one of the variables will not be a contributing factor to the model. So let's create a matrix. The simplest way to do this is just use the car function uh, to create a matrix and then examine the matrix. So I'm going to create a correlation function of the marketing data set. And I'm going to, um, because I'm using multiple linear regression, I want to ensure that the correlation coefficient in use is the Pearson correlation coefficient. I'm going to use the method equals, param equals parameter for that. Um, in inverted commas Pearson watch out for again spelling Pearson there with a lowercase p so when I run this um, my correlation matrix is generated here in the console so the simplest way to to detect a uh, multicollinearity and remember we're only looking for multicollinearity between the three independent variables so any high correlations involved with sales should be ignored because that's the dependent variable so first of all, let's take a look at the first line. So YouTube, when it's correlated with itself, we get a value of one. We can ignore that. You can see that diagonally, there are values of one when each variable is compared to itself. But we can see here that YouTube correlation with Facebook is 0.0548. So that's very, very low. It's almost zero correlation. So that's suitable for the model. And the YouTube variable has also got a very low correlation against newspaper. Again, that is also suitable for the model. And even though the uh, correlation between YouTube and sales is quite high at 0.782 we ignore that because sales is the dependent variable looking along the second line again we can see Facebook has low correlations with all of the other independent variables same for newspaper low correlations um, against uh, almost everything and finally sales which we can ignore but we can see it has a high high correlation against YouTube a moderate correlation with Facebook and low correlation with newspaper so by ignoring sales here, we can look at the three variables, YouTube, Facebook, and newspaper, and determine that the correlations between each of these are all very, very low. So in this case here, we do not have multicollinearity in our data set, and therefore uh, these data are suitable to be brought forward to build a multiple linear regression model. Um, so that's how you do, conduct a very simple check for multicollinearity in a correlation matrix. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.